And I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. This seems Nobody like a listened. scene in a movie Nobody where listened. the robots are going to fucking take over and you're freaking me out. Nobody listened. Nobody listened. No one. Are people more inclined to listen today? It seems like an issue that's brought up more often over the last few years than it was maybe five, ten years ago. It seemed like science fiction. Maybe they will. So far they haven't. Technology has always been something humans have strived to improve more than anything, and it's only getting better and better with new innovations being able to propel us to the next century, and I don't see any end to it. I mean, there's always been a fear of technology being the downfall for humanity in a bunch of literature and film, give or take Terminator, Robocop, Psychopath, Frankenstein, you know, just to name a few. And what we're witness to in Vivi the Fluorite Eye Song is the same warning. Artificial intelligence is dangerous. Now, to be fair, there's a lot of themes this anime dives into, whether it be the importance of song to humanity, what it's like to fight with yourself, to be searching for something important but never grasping it, but the conclusion that I came up with, and a video I really wanted to do when it came to this anime, is that the apocalypse, the AI apocalypse, is possible. See, I remember when I was younger, I saw on television that there was this weird AI mantle thing made in 2016. Her name was Sophia, and a bald-headed robot that seemed capable of cracking jokes, and I was like, okay, cool. Just another thing on the news that will be drowned and forgotten by my growing addiction to anime. It's, it's definitely of no relevance to me, so obviously I don't worry about it. Fast forward to me on YouTube a month ago, and all of a sudden, the fear kicks in, and I watched a video on Elon Musk and what he thought about the dangers of AI, and all I could think about was how much I underestimated our current leaps in AI. I mean, in the video, it showed that AI one day in the future would be more dangerous than any nuclear war ever imagined. Even now, the AI DeepMind owned by Google, an AI that has beaten all the Atari games in minutes beyond human comprehension, has administrative access to Google servers and is able to look at anybody's information. So, you know, cool, you know, you got a robot looking at you all the time. So, that's a current thing, and that could, you know... <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, to think that the future can only look more grim with the already growing pollution, global warning, warming, and now we got to look out for AI too? And can you guess who the creator of the show is? The creator of the show is ReZero. And I thought, ha, that's typical. The guy who has thrown my emotions away plenty of times to show a very dark fantasy for uh, poor Subaru here is now showing a more close-to-home horror for everyone in the fictional future. And if we're not careful, the real future. So thanks for including us, Tape Nagatsuki. You see, the show starts off with an idol character, an AI named Diva wanting to stand on the grand stage to sing for everyone because that's what her programming has her to do. So the world here only allows AI to have one goal, and they can't, well, they're not, they're not supposed to anyways, manage more than one objective for their infinite lifespan, and Vivi's is to make everyone happy with their singing and to find the answer to what it means to sing from your heart. In this story, however, there's always been that saying that if you want to make God laugh, tell him about your plans. And Vivi gets a double punch of Cyanide Espresso that changes her life forever in the form of Matsumoto, an AI 100 years in the future specifically created to persuade Diva to save the future from being an apocalyptic singing number, and she reluctantly agrees. She prevents the number of... <laughs> she prevents the number... She prevents the murder of someone who would promote AI rights, rewrites the story of, care, of a caring AI who was blamed for destroying a space hotel, she destroys an AI base, prevents a suicide, saves the world over and over and over again, then the apocalyptic future still came to pass with some slight differences. 
We find out that since Vivi was the first AI in existence to create a song, it inspired the Hive AI taking over the world to give humanity an out. Vivi must sing the song they wrote for her as a way of co-signing humanity's right to live, or don't sing and everyone would be killed. You see, this should be an easy answer, you know, a, a hundred year old mission would finally be over. Every human she ever saved would have been for something and singing is her specialty, so this should be a walk in the park and Vivi just needs to walk to home base. And yet, on the 12th episode, she could not sing the song and humanity was massacred. She didn't find the meaning of singing from her heart and therefore she could not sing the song. I mean, the thought that passed through my head when she allowed the apocalypse to happen was she didn't believe the humans were worth saving. And that wasn't the reason that happened, but was it weird that I could have accepted that ending? I'm not saying humans should die, but have you ever noticed that most of the exceptional things done in the world in this show are mainly done by AI? I mean, sure you have the rich humans or the scientist humans who are making a difference somewhat, but that is most likely 2% of the world's population. Current studies say that if AI were to be in the workplace, we would see the largest unemployment in human history. In the anime, however, it looks like the rest of human, the human race is enjoying themselves, going to theme parks and traveling to space. So what exactly can humans do better than AI at this point? I mean, we've seen AI fall in love, do exceptional work and service, even control a whole island. I mean, the whole reason AI are even eliminating humans in the first place is because they believe they are the next stage of human evolution where flesh is not necessary. And uh, this is a possibility for humankind now. In the future, we might have something way more capable and beyond ourselves that it may come down to the same question. Why should humanity exist? And I think the creator of ReZero is trying to tell us the answer through Vivi. That just like the question of what does it mean to sing from your heart, an AI or multiple AI can come up with the same answer because it is a hive mind. Even if you look on Google right now, it may come up with a quote with what other people think it may be, but humans could have multiple different answers. To Vivi, it meant that pouring her heart out was to sing with all her memories, a hundred years worth of memories, jam-packed in a song, saved human civilization in the end. It was a beautiful ending with a determined diva, now Vivi, singing her final song and her memories flashing before her eyes, reminiscent of what a human goes through before we eventually die. It's funny that as of today, the 29th of June, I heard a quote that spoke about the definition of hum human beings as a being that breaks all boundaries. To me, I don't believe humans will ever stop breaking these walls, and I for sure know that Vivi broke a boundary in me on the final episode, so thank you, you honorary human. I enjoyed the show. Now... Now I could try to tell you the meaning of this masterpiece of a show, but actually I'm going to leave the question to you. What was so meaningful about this show that kept you so invested? I mean, I was convinced the show was about why humanity should be saved, but honestly I'm not, I'm not sure anymore. Sometimes we don't always need a reason to want to reach higher than we were today, and we just want to see what it's like when we get there. But yeah, real life cat girls, Elon Musk, please proceed.